Yo, what's up, everybody? I am back again live. Um, man, I knew that last live stream, I should have just stayed live and just went to the mailbox. Uh, the moment that I ended the live stream, I went and checked outside. The mailman was at the mailbox. So I knew that the package had arrived. Um, I sent an invite out to Lauren, so I'm going to wait and see if he wants to join in. Um, if you watch this on the replay, just hashtag replay crew. Really appreciate that. Those people that came in earlier that were on the live, hopefully you guys come back. So I got this heavy box from Lawrence. You guys know him as Chanel 808 Hawaii Life. Oh, let me just go to the comments real quick. Uh, Rax, yeah, no. <laughs> I don't know. I've only been gone for five minutes. Um, Kenneth Deasy, yo, what up? So I'm waiting to see um, if uh, Lawrence is going to come in here. I'm actually going to open this up here in a little bit. Um, I'll give more time uh, for people to come in. So... <laughs> um, but yeah, man, I, sh I just should have just kept it. I should have kept the live stream going because it was like everyone was in there. I don't know if everyone's just like, oh, my God, Tito's live streaming again. Like, forget it. I'll watch it later. <coughs> Drink some water here. We'll see. Yeah, I know. I know. I should have just kept that live stream going. Uh, Got to stop vaping. No, I'm not going to stop vaping. I still have a slight addiction to nicotine. If I stop vaping, I'm I might end up start smoking again. So lesser of the two devils. But then again, I'm 38. I'm 38 years old. I live my time. The most important ones are my kids. So I'll be around for them, and then I'm gonna go when I need to go. So uh, message him and see if he wants to join. Let me just tell him real quick that I'm going to unbox his, his package that he sent. It's got some cool stuff in here that I know already. Let's see if I ask him if he wants to join me. I suck at typing one handed. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Um, Yo, Ray, what's up, man? Ray, you want to come in, bro? I'll send you a link if you got time. Let's see. I would just post a link here. All right, bro, link sent. Probably um, get my headphones ready, so in case if I have other people in. Ah. I think it's on this side where the headphones plugs in. There we go. Oh, you're making a kid some breakfast? Yeah. Come in whenever you want, man. I'll just leave it off for right now and see. Hopefully my microphone doesn't like regurgitate the sound back in. If it does, then I'll just put headphones on. Uh all right, I'm gonna tear into this and then um, go over each of the things that's in here. So, Hold on, let's uh, let's cut away. Oh, I use some I use a good amount of tape on this. Hold on, let me stand up and do this. Okay, got it open. Let me put the knife away so I don't actually cut, my, cut myself. I'm going to have to set this box on my lap here so you guys can see um, what it's got. It's midnight there, so it's a new day. Yeah. All right, box in hand. Let me open this up. And man, oh man, are there some goodies in here. First of all, he sent me what I've been craving, which is these right here. This is a bigger bag than he sent last time. These are lemon peel gummy bears. All right. So this is like all the rage in Hawaii right now. So I'm glad that I got more of those because he sent, uh, these ones are lemon, lemon peel strawberry gummies. So these are, this is strawberry gummies. These ones are just regular gummy bears. Okay, so regular lemon peel gummy bears and then lemon peel strawberry gummies. So they're 
in the shape of strawberries. Okay, um, looks like he sent me some vape stuff, so I got some more vape mods. I'm not a vaping channel, but maybe I'll review some of these. Whoa, okay. The Zephyrus V3, so I got a new tank. <laughs> Crazy, hold on. Let me move some of these things over here so I have room to put this stuff down. Um, okay. Then we got the the aroma the aromamizer the aroma the, 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 the aroma the aromamizer aromamizer the aroma the aromamizer we have that right here can't even speak today what's wrong with me the hype the hypercard mod that's what that is. So uh, a new mod, that's crazy. There my cat goes crying again. Jeez, dude, you put a lot of stuff in here. The dual way. So I uh, guess another uh, vape mod kit. He put some stuff, man. Jeez. The Lancia. I believe this is another vape. He sent me a lot of vaping things. This is probably another vaping mod or something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tear into them individually and show you guys. He sent me two of them. Uh, this is heavy, so I wonder what this is. He wrapped up in a bag. I'm not trying to drop a box of goodies. So, ah, uh, we got furukaki for my rice. When I have steamed rice. Pour some of that on top of your steamed rice and it makes it delicious. So, Okay, we got some more kakimochi, my favorite snack. One of my favorite snacks besides the gummies. These are good snack time stuff. Um, it's basically the Japanese style rice crackers is what it is. Uh, shit, another tank. OBS. That's another one. Wow. Jeez, man, I got a lot of tanks here. This one's uh this is a Freemax from Fire Loops, another vaping tank. It's like, yeah, this Christmas. Uh what is this? Touchscreen Eclipse. Tune into your favorite radio station. Bonus preloads included. Oh, it's a music player. Bro, this is dope. Okay. I don't even know if I want to open this out of the package because I'm not a lot of people have music players anymore like this, MP3 players. And uh, that's what this is. A lot of people you, listen to their music on their phones. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put this over here with all my other tech items that I have on there. And it looks like he sent out, uh, this would be a power case. This, I believe, is for the iPhone SE. Yeah, got the little power button thing on the top um, to give it more battery life. So that's going to be dope because I have the iPhone SE. Let me put that right there. I'll pop it on my iPhone SE later. And then, yeah, this is the case he was talking about, the um, OtterBox Defender case for the iPhone uh, XS. So I'll give this uh, to my wife to wrap her phone in and keep it protected. So, yeah, big shout out to Lawrence. I'm going to put the box down over here. And I'm going to go through each of these. So these are food items. So obviously, this is like extra seasoning you put on your on your rice. Um, so like if you've ever been to like a, you know, Asian restaurant, Japanese, you know, style restaurant or whatever. Um, cool, bro. Yeah, you put, you sprinkle this on your rice. It makes your, it flavors your steamed rice is really good. Um, yeah, good to have this because it's hard to find here in Phoenix. So I'm going to stash, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stash this in my drawer. Because I don't want any any of my kids playing with it because they took some of the seasoning stuff and kind of uh yeah, let me get that knife because I'm gonna have to open some of these things. This right here, this OBS tank. Ray, let me know if you got this OBS tank too. And if it is, if it's if it's really good. Um I'm gonna tear into this. Jeez, I'm gonna have to go buy some e-juice today because I got like one. One uh, 60 milliliter bottle, and it's like a quarter's ways left. And I know with all these different tanks, filling them up and trying them out, man, I'm going to eat that juice up. I mean, I'll have like different mods put together. 
um, right now the mod that I'm using, the uh, the tank is mine, but the mod belongs uh, to uh, my really good friend, the one I was talking about that passed away in December. And uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm using his. So uh, this mod right here belongs to the homie Alex. Uh, rest in peace, bro. Uh, he's the one that passed away in December uh, from kidney failure. See, is there a sticker anywhere here? Nope. There it goes. Try not to drop these tanks because they have glass. Uh, one's going to be a box fart. Put it by the microphone. Nope. No box fart. But, um, yeah, so it's got a, a nice clean tank with the atomizer inside of it already. Um, oh, this is actually pretty cool. It's got a... The airflow is from the top. Kind of hard to move the airflow. So um, the airflow is from the top up here. It's kind of crazy. There's no there's no airflow holes at the bottom of this. I wonder how you you fill it. Hang on. Take that off. I think this takes it apart completely. Huh, okay. So what do you do? You fill it up from this? I gotta, I gotta look at this and see how you fill this up. That's gonna be crazy. But I do like that it you know, comes apart easily. Some of these uh, these vape mod tanks, like like the, the Falcon, it's really hard to tear open into it. But this is actually pretty cool because it looks like that it's got um, an extra glass. So is this glass the same? Actually, no, it's a little bit bigger. So I think this holds seven milliliters of juice and this one holds five. I wonder why they put the smaller one in here. And it's got an extra um, atomizer or coil. So that's cool. Definitely going to want to try this out. Oh, let me throw that in there. That's going to go in the trash. Okay, so let me uh, put the tank back in the box just to keep it protected. I don't want to accidentally knock it off the table. Oh, that's that's weird. Yeah, I think I came back, bro. <laughs> What's up? Um, pop some of these over here. I opened up mines last night. I might have to break it down and make a single video. <laughs> um, yeah, what's up? So I need to get me uh, another Falcon tank. Yeah, I, li I like the Falcon tank, but I'm I'm definitely interested in trying this. Isaac, what's up? I'm definitely interested in trying this one. I'm gonna crack open some of these other ones right now. I'm put my phone out of the way right there. So this is this has become a vape unboxing video, sort of. Keep the knife right there in case I need it. No, I'll bust open this fire and this this free max from um, Fire Luke. Never heard of him. Okay. Oh wow! What is that tank? That's a beastly fat bubble right there. Airflow's at the bottom. So, oh, it's got this uh, mouthpiece tip right there. Oh, you top filler. So you fill from the top. So I guess these two pieces also come apart too. Oh, wow. It's got a nice, uh, can hear the click as you're you're opening and closing the airflow. Okay, so you got the airflow, but you can feel the clicks. This is dope. Frick, where's Lawrence? <laughs> I want to thank him for all this, man. He, I sent him a, a link on Twitter and he hasn't responded. Dang it, Lawrence. The one time that I'm like, you know, I waited to unbox it. Instead of unboxing it first, I waited to do it live. And I'm like, yes, Lawrence, where are you, man? Hopefully he comes in. I plan to stream for a while. So if you guys have if you guys have a question, stuff like that, that's dope. No smoking in the house. Kidding. Well, luckily for you, it's not smoke. You know, people tell me that all the time. They'll be like, yo, man, you shouldn't smoke. Like, this is not smoke. I'm not lighting up a cigarette. All right, this is vapor. Vapor, different. Secondhand vapor, not a thing. Secondhand smoke, that's a thing. So I can vape around people. 
and it's not going to affect them as it affects my body. But the messed up thing about that is, is that they no longer allow you to vape inside restaurants or inside establishments because smokers think it's unfair and complained about it. So then they're like, yeah, you can't. He might be asleep. He needs to wake up. It's 1141. It's 841 in the morning over there, man. Lawrence is Lawrence is slacking, man. He's slacking. Because like other times that I live stream around this time and he's up. The one day that I'm like, I'm going to unbox this up. And he knows it was coming because he's the one that messaged me and said, hey, it's going to come tomorrow. He told me that last night. So he knew it was coming. Rado should have ate his Wheaties and stayed up. <laughs> Jeez, man. Silicone plastic. I don't even know why I'm tearing up this one. Here, let's just bust this one. This one's the same one that's open already. Okay, what do we got here? So we got some parts. We got some O-rings, um, screws, and um, an Allen wrench. Oh, okay, I see what this is. I see what this is. And geez, you can switch this up from a full-on solid metal tank to a glass. But what it is, is I believe this is a RTA. It's a RDA or RTA. So hold on. This this sucker's tight, bro. See, I can see the stuff inside the the post. You have to build your own um your own coils and wick, and then you put the juice on it, and then you just vape it. So it's got um two two airflow. There's four total, two on each side. Let me just kind of show that. But um. This is a dripper more than anything. Looks like it is. How to get it apart, I'm not entirely sure. So looks like I'll be reading the instructions on it, but nice. So I got two of these. So if I want to, you know, do a drip, if I want to drip vape, then I got two tanks to do that. Keep one locked, use the other one. I'm tired of people telling me that as well. Yeah, man, we get that crap all the time. It's 141 here in Texas. Like the temperature or the... Bro. It's 241 here in... Oh, you're talking about the time. Facepalm moment. Everybody facepalm. Facepalm emoji right now. Facepalm because Tito done, done messed up. I was thinking you was talking about the temperature. I was like 141 degrees. And then Gene says it's 241 here. I'm like, 240? Like, how are you surviving? <laughs> Time traveling, LOL. Yeah. I need to get me some wire. They got it at, if you guys come back to Phoenix, I told you, Red Star Vape Shop. They sell cantho wire. They sell titanium and nickel also. In case you want to vape, um, if you want to um, temperature vape. Racks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was um in Hawaii we say that's a Portuguese moment. Of course, Lawrence is Portuguese, so no offense to Lawrence. Okay, I think the next thing on the list here, we're gonna open up. We are gonna bust open uh this. The dual way C. And holy crap, what is this? Oh wait. Anyway, I know it's a I know it's a, a vape mod. Or not really a mod. Um I've seen these before. Holy thing, holy well, this thing is heavy. Yeah, so it's this right here. You can see the tank on the inside. This thing is heavy. It's got a charging adapter. Let me just kind of pop the So, and then the box mod itself, they go together. It's got two replaceable glasses for the tank. So that's freaking crazy. Definitely, I'll try this out one day. Not today, though, but yeah, I guess you fill each side tank with juice and it just auto feeds. And geez, you know how much this stuff is? I'm sure Lawrence just sent me about literally like. A thousand dollars worth of vape products right now. Um, 
All right, let's crack open this. This one that I, I massacred the name. So the beginning of the stream for the replay crew, yeah, I massacred the name. But it's the Aroma Miser. And I was calling that the Aroma Miser. Or, or I was saying some shit, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm retarded right now. Um, okay, so it's top open box. And looks like you get a tool. So it's a tank. And wow, some interesting stuff here. So there's this tank right here. So the wife is going to be happy because she's like, she's always worried that I'm going to have to upgrade uh, my vape mod. And she'll like, oh, shoot, um, we got him in here. Let's bring him in. What's up? What up, man? Man. Look at that. I had to step right outside. <laughs> I had to step outside because I'm playing copyright music. I'm like, I don't want to get Tito in trouble. I'm not monetizing this. Oh, I can't. Anyways, I'm showing vape products that automatically demonetize everything. Really? Yeah. If you if you show vape products or talk about vape products, YouTube doesn't support vaping. So like they were part of the uh, the campaign oh, that the oh. tobacco companies launched to try and get rid of vaping. So they don't monetize any vape any vapors channel. They don't monetize it. Oh, so you either gotta have a Patreon or wow. Yep. So oh. I stuck my mod and. Um, indoor smokers, they don't make, they don't get any of their, like their videos get asked, but they don't get nothing out of it. That's you, just like vaping with Twisted 420. Yeah. Damn. Did you get this one? No. God damn. Let me see it. Is it a mod mod or is it like a, is it a squonker? No, nah, there's no tank with it. It's just, it's just uh, the mod itself. Like the, the box. Yeah, box. he gave, uh, Lawrence gave me a shit ton of squonker mods, man. I need to start using them bad boys. <laughs> yeah, he gave, I mean, he gave me so many squonker mods. I'm like, God damn. And Dude, I this, love them damn things, man, because they stopped selling them here in Vegas. They got This thing's got an on and off switch down here. <laughs> Wait a minute. So there's no 18650s you can put in there? No, this is the battery itself. <laughs> oh, so it's probably must be one 18650 up in there then. Yeah. Or two. I ran, yeah. out of, I ran out of juice, man. I need to go get me some juice. I ain't got nowhere to go. I ain't got no way to go get it. No, nah, it's only one, man. There's only there's only one indicator in there at ninety. Oh yeah, I see it. I see it. Yeah. Yeah, he gave me a, a grip, a grip of fucking eight uh, squonker mods. How high can this? This thing can only go up to eighty watts. That's standard nowadays. Yeah. Holy crap. That's, Man, this is like a thousand dollars worth of shit, bro. That's what I said when he sent me my shit. I was like, God damn. Yeah, and I wanted him on here so he can like talk about some of these things and either he's sleep or he's busy. <laughs> There's this one. I don't even know if I want to open it. What's, what is that? The um the RTA? Zephyr, yeah, Zephyr V3. Yeah, he gave me a lot of RTAs. I'm gonna have to go get some. Man, he gave me some Japanese cotton. I'm gonna have to get a gang of wire and a gang of juice. This is a bunch of wire. I think this is the last one I'm unboxing right now. There's another <laughs> tank, the freaking bachelor tank. What the hell? <laughs> Try not to drop all the other stuff. I hate when like they put the tank in here, but they wrap it in plastic so it's hard to grip to pull the tank out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Segelli, not Segelli. Who used to do that? Um, there's one mod company. They, they're they not around no more. Yeah. I'm like, this is the Bachelor 2. I think I've seen a review on this on Rip Trippers. So. Yeah, it's so many. It's so many. You know, nowadays, people are so used to coils now, man. It's coil, 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 you know? Yeah. I guess they still wiring it up out there with Lawrence have it. It's all, it's coil life, man. I don't know, but like, I know my wife's gonna be happy because she's gonna be like, "You got a thousand dollars worth of vape products. I don't have to buy you shit anymore." And I'm gonna be like, "Damn!" <laughs> if I go to the vape shop, I'm gonna be able to look in, in the case and be like, "What are all you? Gonna, all you need now is some juice." <laughs> yeah, juice. She don't mind buying me juice, but when it's like, when I'm like, "Damn, I need a new mod," she she like dreads it because she knows I'm gonna go for something really badass and good. You know, something's like about like 150 bucks or some shit. Now I don't have an excuse. I'd be like, I need a new mod. She'd be like, fuck you. Lauren sent you a bunch of shit. Go pop something open and get it going. 
It's all wire shit, though, man. Some of that shit, like I said, I'm going to have to get me some wire. I forgot how to, I, my rap, my uh, my tool, I don't even know where it's at. Like, I'm going to have to buy individual wires now. I think I'm going to try this one right now. That's the fleck, the, the, the fluke, fluke mesh? I think so. Yeah, he got me, gave me one, man. I want to try that so bad. I ain't got no juice. Oh, shit. Man, it's hard as hell to get juice, man. And a lot of vape shops, man, they closed. Like, they went out of business here in Vegas. They done. My One of my favorite vape shops, Elephant Vape, they went out of business. They, I don't even think they even got any shops left. Go to, um, I mean, I know it's going to suck because you have to wait for the order to come in, but go to um, redstarvapor.com, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. You know, or some wires too, man. Dude, this is a big ass fucking thing. I think this is like probably seven or ten milliliters of juice, man, because it just sucked a whole bunch out of here. <laughs> Damn. I'm gonna let this stew for a little bit before I try it. But I like this one because like the um, mesh air coil. coil. Yeah, it's mesh coil. Oh, yeah, but like, it like five minutes. The the airflow, it clicks when you when you turn it. I know so I you, can't man i need to get some juice today man right probably killing you on video vaping in front of you man my bad <laughs> no that's all good yeah i mean i can go get some juice really because it's like it's a smoke shop that's not that far from where i live and they actually sell good quality juice in there really but, like i gotta get over there like it's like it's not that far it's like it's it's Right up the street, and then it's like right in the Walmart parking lot. But walking there is gonna be a woo wee. Yeah. If I had my car, I would have been with man. But like I said, this whole car situation, man, I don't even want to talk about it. Oh shit, bro. Yeah, I seen. I think I seen something about that. That's why you was reaching out to TK, right? Bro. I might have to get more than TK's help. I might have to. I might have to just, just, cause it's like I, they took my car for repair. Yeah, that was three days before my wife went out of town. Now it's gone on two weeks and three days or two weeks. It'll be it'll be two weeks since she's been gone tomorrow. Cause she'll come back. She's coming back tomorrow. But it's like we don't have no car. Nothing. Damn. Yes, sir. Shit, dude. Like, I would have been drove to the store. Like, I would have been, I'd have had juice probably before she even left. But like I said, man, this whole situation with this car, man, this is ridiculous, man. Oh, is that why um, traveling with, uh, with Carlos is on hold right now? No. My car, I don't even use that car. That car I had, man, is so messed up, man. I can't, I, I can only drive in this city and that's it. If I try to take that car back out of town, man, it's a wrap. Oh, okay. That was one, I was wondering if that one's what's putting on hold or whatever, because I know. It's, 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 I got to wait for her to come back, too. That's another thing. Like, she's been out of town for two weeks. I can't just leave the kids here. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, crazy right now man but I, I i'm i'm trying to figure this out man like i need to, i need to find a way to get to this smoke shop some way somehow shit i mean if los ain't busy just have him run through and grab what you need i i ain't trying to bother him man he got a lot of stuff going on right now man whole lot of stuff Yeah. All I need, all I need, is a uh, sixty mil, and I'll be good. Sure, bro. If I live in Vegas, I'll just, I'll just come through and just grab, <laughs> drop you a bottle, man. Man. All right, YFS, man. Replay the, replay it later. <laughs> all right, said, man. No, I said, I sent a YFS an invite to come in, but you can no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, dude, that's a, that's a lot of vape stuff, man. I know, bro. Like, like, let me go. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me go back in the house real quick. Give me one second. Uh, yeah. Wow. Give me one 
second. I thought that was Carlos' ass, but that's, that is. That is Carlos. Is it? Is there? Nah. Let me see. Hell, not out of him. He ain't driving no beer. He ain't driving no uh, Mercedes. <laughs> He said he was coming. So. Oh shit! Hold on, let me mute it because the music. I'm gonna try this take right now. And I go in here, see if it fits. Yep, fits on this one. So it's at. 0 0.0195 ohms. I'm gonna vape it at 50. Let me put it at 55 watts. I don't vape at high wattage, so. Nah, my max is like 80 now. I don't go to like when I be hearing cats talking about yeah, I be at 200. I will be like, what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no offense to other vapors out there, but if you vape at 200, you're probably good at deep throat. <laughs> Nah, bro, you probably good at fucking breathing in fire at this point. You probably uh, dragon breath. <laughs> hey, wow. Shit, bro. This is actually nice. I like this one. Not bad. The flavor's good out of it, so the coil. So this is what everything cool. that he gave me. Nice. Yeah, he gave me he gave me these last time. Like I gotta, sh but it's like you gotta get special type of tanks for these. You know you can't just use any tank. He gave me the Srivis. Oh, nice. So another OBS. Yes, another OBS, and then I got a Japanese cotton. He gave me, and then this one right here. This is the uh, Conquer Mini. Let me see. I think this one is a, another rebuildable. Yep, it's a rebuildable tank. Well, actually, no, it's a it's a uh, hybrid. I think it's rebuildable and it's a. Uh, not really sure. Some of these is like I'd be like, what is they? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, real quick. Oh, it's wired in here. Really? Oh, well, goddamn. I still ain't got no juice. <laughs> it's wire and copper. I mean, wire and... Um... If you guys don't know, um, Lawrence, his YouTube channel is uh, Chanel808 Hawaii Life. I'll plug it in in the chat. Subscribe to him. Um, we're showing the stuff that he sent us. He sent us a care package from Hawaii. Look at that. Oh snap, dude! Damn, you got built coil, pre-built coils. That's what I'm saying. Like, nice came with the mod. That's crazy. With the tank, I keep saying mod. Hold on, that is wild. And there's another bag of uh, coils in here. Wow. Let me pop YouTube and just get his channel link. It's not be easier than just typing the name of his channel. I'm having blonde moments today. Are you serious, bro? Like, I just got a notification of somebody saying Galaxy Galaxy S21. Like, y'all y'all need to quit. Like, this is why I take breaks from tech, man. Because it's like, the damn, <laughs> the damn note ain't even been out, what, 24 hours yet? And they all yeah. like, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, the Galaxy uh, S21. Like, bro, Why? Why are you talking about a phone that's not coming until like April? Dude, I'm getting notifications of people talking about the Pixel 6. I'm like, bro, we haven't even had the Pixel 5 yet. Chill. <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, like, I'm telling you, Tito, that's why I, I go to my movie channel and I disappear for, for a couple of days, man, because it's like I get tired of hearing about this stuff, man. And people be like, oh man, you 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 don't you don't know what you want to do. You don't know if you want to make a movie channel. I'm like, bro. It's not that I never wanted to make a movie channel. Movies is my passion. Like, I've oh, yeah. loved movies since I was a kid. So it's like, I know what I like, and I know what I want to do in life. And and I love tech. Don't get me wrong. It's cool having, like, like I could be honest. I'm going to be real honest with you, Tito. I could talk about pixels all day, bro. 
That's real talk. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> that's that's it. Like, I can't sit there and talk about all these different phones all day. Now, look at this one. Oh, this one comes with coils too. Yeah, that is nice. See? <laughs> oh man, but this one I think it's a rebuildable too. Let me see. Lawrence is a man, dude. Bro, I'm telling you. Where is he at? You said he's probably sleeping. Yeah, I figured he'd probably be asleep. This this one is crazy. What is this one called? The Aero Miser. I think he gave you one too. Oh, the Aroma Miser. The Aroma Miser. Yeah, dude. I oh, this, this is a so swamp. Bad. This is yep. That's the same one. See. So this is a squonker. Yeah, it gotta be. It has to be most flavorful. RDA. Yes, yeah, RDA. So that means it take it takes coils and it can, and you can build in it. Nice. Yep, there's the screws and stuff right there. Dude. Did you get snacks too? Uh he gave me the uh seasoning, the rice seasoning, because my wife she loves that man. Yeah, dude, man. I'm a, I'm gonna crack open and leave later when I watch movies. I don't I mean I'm mad. I'm kind of upset that I uh that I've been keto for a while because it's like I've been I've been I've been thinking about getting some some of those too. Like I was gonna tell him if he was gonna send me one. Put some of those gummy bears in there, but it's like, dang. Bruh, he gave me the, the gummy strawberries, man. I've been going strong with this keto, man. I know I have lost another 20 pounds since she's been gone. Because I haven't been eating like that. I, I'll probably fast for like 10 hours. Man, look at all these squawk mods. God damn. Yep. There's another OBS. Oh, shit. I got one of those. <laughs> I think. Bruh, look. Nah, he hooked it up with you, man. Bruh. I got the same one, too, that Lancia. This one? Yeah. Like, oh. Hold on. I don't even know what this one is. Is this a, is this like a rebuildable, or is this just like... Uh, this is a rebuildable. Yeah, like I said, it must be really popular out there, man, because out here, it's coil life. Oh, yeah. I remember the cheetah. I remember these. I like this this RDA because like it comes with, with two glass tanks, but it's also got a metal one. And you've got the aromaizer. Yeah, the aromaizer. Yeah. Unique airflow and liquid free design. Bro. Yeah, but this Freemax tank. Bro, I know it's hitting. I know it's hitting. And I know, I know you're getting all types of flavor. Fuck yeah, I'm getting all kinds of flavor. I yeah, I think it, uh, I did this live, so I can't hide it from my wife and be like, I need a new model. Be like, fuck you, you got a bunch of be like, yeah, you went live. I seen that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Homie got the goods. Yeah, freaking Lawrence hooked it up, man. Bro. You he got me these cases, too. Like, he sent me a case for the XR. For my wife's yeah. XR, because now she got the XR. Bro, he sent me the the Otter Box Defender for the 10s I mean, this to my wife, and then he sent me the the battery the the power case for the iPhone SE so I can use it and get more battery life out of it, bro. I'm like, you got an SE? I don't know that. Yeah, I still have the original SE, not not the new one, the original. Oh, one. you got the old school SE, oh, Okay, yeah. Yeah, I have that one. He sent me a power case. That case for it. work on the new one though. But like, um. Sneed told me to send my SE to him and he'll replace the battery in it. Bro, that's a fucking nice tank, dude. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm cursing, you know, babies are around. My bad. Nah, they man, man, as much cuss words they hear. I love this. Uh what is this? Um I Bro. forgot the name. What is this called again? The material. It's um uh, it's not ceramic, it's uh yeah, ceramic. Yeah. I was going to say acrylic, but I was like, I don't know why I said no, that. It's, yeah, that's right. Acrylic. You just oh, it is? You said it right. Yeah, this is acrylic. This is acrylic. Bro, can My you wife see had one comment? of these. My wife, yeah, the, the one you got is acrylic too, I'm sure. No, but you see this comment right now from Luis? I what don't get it. The George Michael said, why can you do it? Why can to see a doctor free all injections? Yes. I Got what? It, put injection into the skin, bro. He's a Superman troll. 
Get his ass <laughs> about it here. Okay, that made me laugh. Oh, so wait a minute. He put this in here. He put this in here, but look at this. Oh, snap. Oh, I'm confused now. This is why we needed him on the live. What the <laughs> fuck? Hold on. Hold on, T. I got to Oh, this is a uh, RTA for the squonkers. Yeah, this is fire loop. I'm confused. Where the hell is Lawrence at? <laughs> because, like, I know about these, but I, I know this. See, this is a rebuildable because, hold on. I got to put you down for a second so I can open the pop, so I can pop the top. It's a rebuildable because here's the here's the, the leads, the connectors. Yeah. But it's also, like, it's for the squonk because the, the gold tip and then it has the hole where you can uh, drip the, the, you squeeze the squonk box to get the juice in there. Damn, man. Lawrence has got a lot of numbers. <laughs> Bruh. I was me, see, like I'm that. using the phone that I call him on. I'm going to text him right now just to his T-Mobile number. My damn, my damn, uh, my visible line is off. I got to pay that ass. God damn, I can't believe. And I got coils for this. Do I got coils for this free, man? Free uh, fire Luke? Let me see. I think I do. Bro, on the off topic note, that Pixel 4A, bro, that shit's fire, dude. Bro, I already know you ain't even got to tell me, Tito. I'm mad as hell. I ain't got one right now. Ooh, like camera. Oh, snap, man. Really? That's, a, that's, a three, that's a three mesh. Yes, sir. Fuck, bro, that's going to spit some good flavor. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Do I got coils for this, or I think I do? Hey, hey, hey! I need you to relax, buddy. Not really sure if I got coils for this, but I'll look and see. Because my wife, she had this. She had this exact, exact vape with kids and trying to chase them down. She broke it. <laughs> Did he send you this one? Which one? Hell no! Nah. What is that, bro? This so uh, this shit is heavy, dude. I'm gonna call this the beat. This thing is heavy as hell, bro. I can knock somebody out with this if I. Threw oh it. yeah, he was telling me. He was telling me he sent you that. Yeah, this has dual tanks on each side. Another squonk squonk. And then the freaking um, then the mod itself. The fuck? Yeah. Yeah, oh it's called the dual way C. Because I think he put the one he put in here. I don't think. No, this is it. So this one comes with both a coil. It comes with the coil. And then it comes with a rebuildable uh, coil. Let me read it on the back. It says Canthral 0.15. Pre installed, then it comes with an RTA. Yeah, it comes with an RTA. So, yeah, this whole entire that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, fire, uh, fire loop, man. They, 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 they stopped selling those in Vegas too, man. Really? Yeah, man. So, it's a lot of companies, man. They, they either left because of the whole issue that would happen, and it's messed up that that happened right, right before we had uh, COVID. Oh, we got B Tech reviews in the house, bro. If you want in, man, let me know, and I'll I'll DM you the link on Twitter or on Facebook. Everyone, just let me know. The last time that you send me the Google Pixel Four video from Bruce Momo with that on T Momo Network here in YouTube. What? Bro, I think you got. I never put Bruce Momo on the Pixel Four. I did it put on the Pixel Three A. But that's only because Boost Mobile is, is dependent on T-Mobile's network now. That's the reason why. I would never get Boost. That's no, not, not, not until Dish builds out their network. You've seen Steve's video on that, right? 
Yeah, I was, I was, I was listening to the one Snee was talking about. Bro, Dish's idea of building out their network, the way that, like, kind of like how Japan's built theirs out, that's gonna be fire, dude. Like, that's gonna change the game. Yeah, I got some. Man, the other day I went to my wife's in there in our room just to see if we had any type of juice, like hitting. We ain't got nothing. Yeah, Mike, I'd say this: the the Pixel Four A is fire, dude. The camera. This the, yeah. This is the tank that I really need to get some glass for. This tank right here. I miss this tank. This is the Manta. This tank used to kick like a man. Like I got coils for it all day. Yeah. But I don't have the glass. Like I remember my son, he was running and he grabbed it and he dropped it and broke the last glass. I'm like, Damn. that one just now, the one that was just yelling. He broke it. Gene said <laughs> boost mobile is horrible on T Mobile Network. Well, yeah, you got boost. You got every other MVNO that was that was dependent on um, Sprint. And then you got Metro. You got Google Fi. Then you got T-Mobile Postpay. Like, you got all these people depending on the T-Mobile network. Yep. Yep. It's, it's going to be trash. And this is the one he sent me last time. The, the, the G-Box. Look at this bad boy. Bro. Oh wow, bro! How many does that take? Does that take like three eighteen six fifties? Bro, hold on. Or is it got an already built in uh, battery? No, nah, this this one you got to get batteries for. Hold on. No, it takes two. It takes two eighteen six fifties, and oh. one is for the for the juice for the squonker. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Oh, that's oh, awesome, dude. Man, I like that, that. bro. I'm just mad. I'm telling you. I, I like that matte that. finish on it, bro. That's it. And anything bro. that's colored, I love. That's what I said when I when I, when I first took it out of the box. I'm like, God damn. Oh, Geek Vape made this. No wonder it looks familiar. Yeah, Geek Geek Vape stuff is pretty. There's Lawrence. Get in here, Lawrence, dude. I sent you a link, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, what's going on, Lawrence? <laughs> Oh, it he even comes with a drip tip. A, uh, a, what do you call it? An attachment. He freaking pots in the chat with that. Yeah, but he ain't even in here, dude. Come on. Real. And <laughs> my son played that shit so much. I know that whole song. You're right, bro. You called it. He just got up. <laughs> Told you, bro. Now go splash water on your face, Lawrence. Straighten up a little bit and come on with us, bro. We need some explanations. Yeah, bro. Cause some of this shit, like, like here go my coils I got for the free, but these ain't gonna, these ain't gonna fit. I already know they're not gonna fit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here's another one. Bro, Lawrence, man, thank you, bro. I love this tank right here. I'm, I'm getting some good flavor notes on this. And I love that airflow control because it clicks, so you don't have to worry about it really slipping. You can tell if it moves. I like this because it only takes one 18650. Oh, wow. Yep. But it's a squonker. Oh, there he is. Squonk, squonk, squonk. Brother Lawrence. Good, good morning. Brother, thank you. I really yeah, can't. for real, Lawrence. Thank you, man. You know what the fucked up thing about? Oh, sorry about that, man. No, cuz I ain't the best best thing, you know, thing about this whole thing. Okay, August 11th, my girlfriend put our order in for East Sigity for the juice, right? And normally we pick it up the same day, right? So the next day we picked it up August 12th. I told her we're gonna go pick it up no matter what. I had that my in my. My gut feeling instinct, you know, instinct, right? Yeah. So we went and picked it up that day, came home. The next two days she worked. Saturday the 15th, E. Sigity got robbed at one o'clock in the morning. Ooh. They, some bunch of people broke in, stole, stole all the remaining free stuff that they was given away, and just trashed the place. 
Man, that's, that's nuts, man. I don't know why people got to get dumb like that for you. know They're giving away free stuff. Why you got to rob the place for it? Just fucking go stupid. in. It's stupid. Oh. It's stupid. That's it. It's hard, dude. Yeah, bro. Instead of getting you the berries this time, I got you the strawberry one. Mm-hmm. I already cracked it open and tried one, bro. I love these. And then the kaki mochi. This ain't bait related, but uh, anybody that wants to get um, anybody that that needs uh, music or any type of uh, son, I'm gonna need you to calm down. Anybody that's like trying to like that like Bluetooth module, I got an eBay seller, man. He got uh, man, I got so many of these, man. Oh my god! All you need, all you need is a AC plug, some speaker wire, and a speaker, and you're in the game. I got like six of these, man. And they, and and the levels, the the levels is pretty good too. Like you don't the EQ levels, you can adjust it, but it's already like the default level is already set. You know. Here's the Falcon tank. No, oh, yeah. But it's not in here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, gotta get, I, gotta, I don't you know. know where the tank is. Oh, I don't forget. Oh, okay. I know where it's at. Uh, oh, Lawrence can help me explain this. All right. There it is. I'm not familiar with this one, Lawrence. You want to tell me a little bit about this one? I have no idea. That's the first time I've seen it, that one. I would just use the mod because I didn't know how to take that bitch apart. You gotta screw. You gotta take that thing, the top part apart, and it's ridiculous. You gotta screw that thing on. I would just use the mod. You know what you're gonna have to do, Tito. You're gonna have to get on YouTube. Yep, I'm gonna have to go and do do massive research, man. Because I'm like, I've never seen one like that before. So I'm, I'm I've even, I even, like even I wouldn't even use. I wouldn't even waste your time crazy. using the tank. Just use the mod. Yeah. Cause then there's this one too, bro. And like, I'm trying to like figure out because I don't want to like mess it up, but I know it's a dripper. I figure out to take it apart so I can build coils for it. So hey. I can start using it. Yeah. Hold on, man. Hold on. Hold on, real quick. What are you doing, son? <laughs> what are you doing? I love kids, man. Come on, man. Damn. That's how I sound when my kids start messing with stuff, bro. Like the other day, they took this seasoning. Uh, called Tahin, and they threw it all over my couch, bro. I was so, I was so pissed. <laughs> but yeah, Lawrence, man, I really this is like what, like a thousand dollars worth of stuff, bro. Nah, not that much. Well, how much you figure each tank is? I mean. Some of these gotta be well, like oh, some of those are, reti are are retired. I mean, at, at best, maybe twenty bucks. Yeah, if you get them now, but when they came out, like I'm going price wise when they first came out, bro, they gotta be close to like 60, 80 bucks for the tank. The mods themselves probably. Uh, I'd probably say like forty. There's a lot of stuff, bro, and like I was saying earlier before you came on. Now, if I'm like, oh man, I need a new mod, my wife is just gonna cuss me out. She'd be like, "Fuck you, Lauren sent you a bunch of shit already. No worries." <laughs> I'm like, <sighs> yeah, but <laughs> I got that's not, but that's nothing. You still need a device for all those tanks. At least one more, one more solid device. Yeah, I'm gonna buy me another box mod just so I can run like multiple ones. But this this one right here, bro, right now I'm really loving this one. I'm, I'm getting good flavor out of it. It's hitting really good. And it has a rebuildable section too. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah. I'm tripping out on it. I'm like, fuck. So man. you can, you know, try try out the coil, then you can get just get it wire and cotton. Yep. And that came with spare glass too, right? Yeah, I have a spare glass in there too. That's a good amount of stuff, and then the case too. I already messaged my babe that that uh, there's an auto box defender case for the iPhone 10s because now she's using the Pixel 4a as her main, and then uh, the 10s as her, her her job line or like her business line because she's a supervisor. So now she's got the auto box defender case to keep that iPhone 10s protected even more. And then I appreciate the the power case for the iPhone SE, bro. I'm gonna crack that phone out and get it set up again. 
The battery, that battery case. Yeah, it's all, it's all right. They might charge it up once only. Yeah, but it'll give a little bit more life on the iPhone SE, so I can do a review on iOS 14 on that small little device, bro. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I tried to clean up that battery case as much as possible because, unfortunately, for that kind of material, when it sits. Oh, so this person went to uh, get a TN SIM card from Boost. Yeah, but, I mean, T-Mobile's network is congested in certain areas. So, yeah, think about, like, all the all the MBNL prepays that they're supporting now because of the Sprint merger. So it's going to be a little rough for a while. Yep. Sorry, fellas. Ah, father, yeah, father, father, father duty. You know, hey, you want to hear something funny, Tito? I called the boost store that, that, that's literally five minutes away from me because I wanted to get my my mom the ten dollar unlimited talk and one gig plan. Yeah, they are, they didn't have the flip phone, the cool pad that cool pad flip phone, and they said if they do have it in stock, it's forty bucks. She goes to me. She even she told me. Or you can just order off the web on the website and bring it into the store and we'll activate it. Really? Yeah. They charge to do that, don't they? Yeah, but the only downside is that ten dollar plan is only available in store. It's not available online. Damn. Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of that's kind of like a uh, what do you call it uh, a stalemate. So for for lines that don't require online port or portions and online whatevers, you can just go buy the phone from Boost from the website, get their instant discount. Like today is the, I think today was the last day of the twenty percent off. Yeah. Bro, I like this tank, Lawrence. This one actually, and it has like a freaking, you can replace the glass with metal. I mean, you won't see yeah. your juice, but. You don't see your juice. I'd rather just go with the glass. glass. Yeah. That's nice, though. I like that. I'm about to turn this on and see what the menu look like. Yep, it's a geek bait mod. Oh. <laughs> Need another one of these, man. These are so good. The Lawrence, man, all these goddamn squonkers, man. <laughs> well, you can at least flip one of them. Hell no, nah, man. I don't. That's one thing about me. I don't sell. I'll sell a phone. Like, like I'm selling all my. I sold all my OnePlus devices, but I'm keeping my Pixel and my Galaxy and my iPhone. But when it comes to vapes. You you don't it's like to me, it's like because me and my wife got a bad history, like bad luck. If one breaks, then you asked out. Yeah. Okay, well you I'm know, looking at that got, way. You don't have both, you don't have any, you'd be like, damn. I wish I, I didn't like sell it. Because, <laughs> I like this because this one right here is actually it's just a squonk squonk. It's a squonker. I just gotta get some goddamn. I gotta get some coils, man. Like, I like rebuildables, man. That, like that shit is kind of rare out here nowadays, man. Well, plus a lot of your vape shops is like what either closed down or limited hours. Yep. Or don't exist anymore. Yeah, so I mean, closed down or the ones that are open, it's too far away and it's limited hours. Yep. My favorite one, they they done, man. They're gone, man. And that was Elephant Vape. Elephant Vape. Like, I can go in Elephant Vape. And, man. I miss yeah. that, man. Bro, this thing is staying in the package, bro. I ain't up That's what I told. It. The touchscreen uh, MP3 player? I am not opening this, bro. You're just going to stay in this package, man, because like, you know, hardly anyone uses the MP3 player anymore because your phone can carry your, your music. Yeah, I, I'm a big I'm a big advocate for bringing MP3. It is, Sony, it's Sony going to be a collector's item brand. for you then. Mm -hmm. Sony, Sony actually brought uh, they brought it back. They, they came out with one last year. It could hold up to like 250 or I think it was like 350 gigs or something. And they had Android built into it. Is the audio working? <laughs> YFS. 
If you don't need data, T-Mobile works 364 Damn, audio days Audio is dead. Damn. <laughs> That's all bad. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. Yep, Lawrence sent an MP3 player, bro. I'm not cracking that thing open. Hell no, nah, that shit is rare. Okay. Sorry, my audio died off a little while. Oh, okay. Let me let me uh let me connect to the computer, Tito. Hold on. All right. I need to charge this iPhone up, man. Uh, give me one second. You know, it only works one day here. Tape recorder? <clears throat> no, not not a cassette player. Yeah, it is awesome, man. I gotta I gotta hold on to it because I mean you think like 10 years from now that no one's really gonna know what an MP3 player is. That's rare, man. So they'll be like, I got one still wrapped, not cracked open. They don't want a thousand. They don't want a thousand for it. I'm gonna pass it down to my kids. Maybe one day it'll be like worth a lot more. They can do whatever they want to do with it down then, but I'm gonna hold on to it for a while. (laughs) When my girlfriend got that, it was five dollars at Walmart. On the clearance section, she just had it on the side because this time of year, we just buy all these little things. So by the time Christmas comes, we can just throw, you know, throw somebody a goodie bag or just throw in the item for additional gift and just add to it. Yeah. That's but that we got that from last last year, man. Was... Well, I appreciate it. And you tell her I said I appreciate it. Yeah, you do. Tell tell your wife I appreciate it too. No worries. I I gotta I gotta go get the my iPhone SS Max from the room and change phones, dude. Because the I, I'm on the beta software right now and it's hacking up. Yeah, going. I'll still be here. Yeah, give me one second. I'm about to drop off mobile wise and I'm about to come in on computer PC. Yeah. Let's see what we got comments wise. Maybe more than a thousand dollars. Maybe. The MP3 player, does it still work? Well, it's never been open, so I would see I would say it does work. I'm not gonna crack it open to find out if it works. What's up? John Wick. <laughs> John Wick 2770. There you go, man. What do you need? I need guns. Lots of them. Guns. I need lots of guns. Goddamn Matrix, man. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. It might be some feedback now that I think about it. Let me see if I can get the buzz to connect. Because the microphone is right next to the speaker. I'm not hearing any feedback on my end. Anyone in the comments want to share if they're hearing feedback? Because I don't even have my head on. I'm just using the mic. iOS 14 is still not StreamYard friendly. Nope. (laughs) Why I got on the PC. (laughs) It's It's like a hissing noise when I get on. Every time I get on with the iPhone, it's like you can hear like a lot of feedback like Hissing feedback on my end, and that's for me. So you already got you already had the box before I texted you. Then that it was in the lock box. Yeah, they um when I was doing my my live stream earlier, I was like, I'm gonna go check the mail and wait for the mail, see if the box comes. And as soon as I ended the first live stream I did this morning, the mailman was out there, so I ran out there, grabbed it, and came back, and just launched the live stream again. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't know why. When I sent you that text, I just got up. It was only nine, yeah. you know. It's like eight something. Now it's nine thirty Hawaii time. Yeah. Squeaky so chair, like, yeah, that's my chair. I need a new office chair, man. This thing's old. I've had it for like over almost ten years already. Ah, damn. I just got a new chair, like what? A couple of months ago. <laughs> I had to, man. I couldn't do it. Like the one I had, man. That that. That bad boy was done, man. Bro, everything in my yeah, office I, I, is I, a shelf. 
I can't believe it only came today, man. Better late than never, though. Exactly. I was worried that it got lost, you know what I mean? Well, eight days, man. Priority mail, and normally it takes it's supposed to be three day, three to four days tops. Oh, well, I mean, you know, you got to factor in like the pandemic thing too. Plus, whatever. Yeah. I, I know they scan the boxes; they can see what's inside. And since there's batteries and stuff in there, I know they kind of do a hold on them sometimes too. Yeah. Yeah, they do. I was gonna say that they do do that. If they see what is that. They- so like they hold on to it because there's batteries inside. They want to make sure that it doesn't like you know explode. Leak or like explode. Yep. Yeah. So they they hold it for a while just to make sure that everything's good with the package because they're not gonna tear it open. Yeah, but, but there's but there's no real batteries in your. Well, I think you only had one device that had a battery in there, but it would have said your package. They didn't hold it. It's just that with with the situation we're in, everything is getting delayed because even when I go and check. I downloaded the app, and it said oh. packages will be delayed to deliver to limited shipping. You know, instead of having them having multiple planes to just like pick up and go from state to state, they have limit. They're going, they're doing limited pickups. That's why it's delayed. It's because of this, because the c word. Bro, I've had I've had a friend tell me that it's because Trump's stealing the mail. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I know, but I'm like, bro, if he's stealing now, what the fuck's he gonna do with my box? Except enjoy the lemon pill gummy strawberry. Oh man, Ben Affleck is coming back as Batman for the Flash movie. What, bro? They finna confuse the fuck out of these kids. Well, who's it? I grew up. I grew up. I had two Batmans. <laughs> is Robert Patterson still playing Batman for the next? Yeah. Movie? And then they're gonna go back to Ben Affleck for the Flash movie. Maybe they don't like Twilight Batman. <laughs> no, it, this is this is this is what's going on, Tito. And I'm gonna tell you what's what's going on right now. They're doing they're doing something where that Robert Patron's Batman. I don't even know how to say my boy's name. His Batman is supposed to be before Ben Affleck's Batman. That's what people. That's what people's not understanding. I tried to explain this to a friend of mine. I'm like, this is not gonna be a modern day Batman movie. And they like, oh man, it's modern day. I'm like, dude, this is not a modern day Batman movie that's coming out. This is going to be an origin story. This Batman that we're going to see when it comes out is going to be probably Batman in like the late 80s, early 90s. If 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 it was told the way it was supposed to be told. Ben Affleck is still Batman because he's older Batman. That's what people yeah. don't understand. And people is like, what are you talking about? Like, you'll see. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> um, okay, that that does make sense. All right. Because so if, you look at, if you look at the screenshot, if you go online, if you look at all the different screenshots and all the different um, promotional material that they've been releasing, that's not 2020. That's like 1989, like going into 1990s types, like 91, 92 type. That's not. That's not anything that's modern, you know. But people yeah. don't people don't understand that they think it's a modern day Batman movie. And I'm like, it's a modern day Batman movie, but it's not going to be set in the years. It's going to be set way in the back back in the day when I was like four type shit. So people need to really go back and look at all that promotional material and see why it's different. Yeah, that's just weird. Like, I don't know. Batman and Spider Man are the two movies where they always got to go back and redo the origin. If you look at freaking what Christopher Nolan's Batman, the Dark Knight series, we got an origin story there because we've seen Bruce before. Um, before this Batman, he goes off, he ventures off, he joins the League of Shadows, he betrays them because of their their unjust motive, and then he comes back to Gotham and then takes the their philosophy and then makes Batman out of it. Now we're exactly. gonna get another origin story with with um, Twilight Batman. <laughs> I'm gonna keep exactly. calling him that. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, he don't look too bad. Like he don't look too no, bad. He don't. I seen photos. He does not. I mean, he he really worked out for this for this role. Because mm-hmm. I know they did an article where um, Ben Affleck was talking about it, and he said like, yeah, you know, he he got ripped for this role. So mm-hmm. it's, it's yeah, because he's playing he's playing a younger version of him. He got to get in shape. And then people is upset because they don't understand the concept of uh, 
they don't understand the concept of um Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. And it's like, bro, that's not that's not the Joker we know. Yeah, that was way before it, Bruce was really young when he approached. Yeah. People don't uh, like I saw I like the Joker movie. I know a lot of people had complaints about it because it, the, the people are so used to Keith Ledger's Joker. They were expecting something similar to that. This Joker was dark too. But it made sense why he was like that. You know, it told Gotham City from the lower end of the city. So, like, while people looked at it and got mad because they're like, the Joker's a criminal. He's supposed to be psychotic and everything else. Like, yeah, but there's always an origin to it. And he inspires the next person who dons the Joker moniker. That's what it is. It was good. I liked it. Especially at the end where he shot uh, that, that dude on the show. Yeah. He shot Robert De Niro's character. That was mine. That was mine. That was that shit was crazy. You get what they fucking deserve. Wow. I was like, oh. Yeah. It's funny you guys Man. talking about that. I, I watched that last night before I went to bed. <laughs> A Joker? Yeah, it was on. You watched that long ass on. movie when you went to bed. <laughs> My insomnia was kick, uh, that kicked movie, in. I, yeah, yeah, that shit is long. Like I got, I got both the Blu-ray and the 4K cut, and it's like the one I got the the, the 4K. It seemed like it's longer. Uh, like, I don't like know. Four, Jared Jared Leto's four, Joker. Uh, his, his Jared Leto's uh, Joker remind me of the Joker from like the Batman the animated series from Warner Brothers. It reminds me of that Joker. Are you talking about? You talking about? Uh, you you're talking about? Um, Gangster Girl Joker, Jared Leto. Talking about uh, hold on, give me a second. I know I'm getting old now. I used to be able to get names quick. You talking oh. about Mark Hamill's Joker? Yeah, yeah. Nah, bro. Nah, his Joker is more. His Joker, nah. His Joker, his Joker is totally different from Mark Hamill's Joker. Like, like Joaquin. I mean, why, why Joaquin Phoenix? Jared Leto's Joker is a studio's version of Joker. Like he's not even as crazy as, as Mark Hamill. Like his his personality and the way he presents himself is two different things. Like if you look if you look at Jared Leto's Jared Leto's Joker was more of a like I said it was it's a studio made Joker. It's not even comic book based. It's something yeah, that they put together. Yeah, but Mark Hamill's Joker was comic book one hundred percent comic book Joker. And that's oh, well, his, his mannerisms and the mentality of the character. But what I mean by Jared Leto's Joker reminds me of the animated Joker is like how in, in in Suicide Squad the Joker already had a squad of people, a gang of yeah. people. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean by it, like the mannerisms, no, because we really, I think Jared Leto really didn't get a chance to really like like show what that Joker can do. As, uh, as they, 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 they on the one, the, the one, the version that don't, I showed. But don't forget Jim Jim Carrey's Joker. It's more like the TV show Joker. Jim Carrey never was the Joker. He was the Riddler. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. He's more like the yeah, no, he was but, the Riddler. Sorry. I know. What you, I know what you like mean. The, the 60s Carrey. Riddler. But like Jim Carrey's Riddler, I think it was so bad only because the mannerisms was like the Joker, which the Riddler wasn't like that. The Riddler was more intellectual because obviously he left riddles. The Joker, the Joker was, the, I mean, the Riddler was, is like a, the, the Riddler is more like a, uh, he's like a very intelligent individual. Like he doesn't do all that craziness and that's what people don't understand. And it's a generation of people that grew up like not understanding that. And I had to explain it to him. I'm like, dude, that Riddler is not the Riddler in the comic books. <laughs> well, bro, get your ass up out of here and then shit. I love Batman. I could talk about comic book shit. I talk about anime shit. I could talk about anything, bro. I can make any conversation interesting. Like what the fuck? <laughs> oh, he's out. He's out already. Yeah, okay. this is a variety. Like my channel's changed a lot. It's a variety's channel now. Like my, shit, my channel is. Yeah, we talk about every motherfucking thing on that channel. Yeah, I think because like I don't know. Have you? Did you watch Max <laughs> Lee's uh, Periscope? No. Recently, like he's um, he's opened up about his frustrations with YouTube, right? And um, I had him on my show. I had him on my uh, on my channel. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, he went at it again. People like, <clears throat> and, and this is why I feel bad for Max Lee. This is where I really feel bad for him. Like, he's, he's, old known, he's known for like mobile phones and reviews and Samsung phones and custom ROMs and all that stuff, right? And it's sad because he'll go live on Periscope. He'll talk about how he's tired of it, how you know he doesn't want to do what everybody else is doing. He wants to do something different. Well, now he's focused on his e-skateboards and how he builds them to inspire mm -hmm. people to build their own. And he still gets hit with you think of the galaxy note 20 ultra and it's like i look at people in his, in his live i'm like bro he just said that he is tired of talking about it like you know he don't respond to him like yeah, the, no. <clears throat> the last live i was watching he got bombarded with so many different comments what do you feel about the uh what do you feel about the note 20 what do you feel about the pixel 4 and the, i'm like bro like this man is tired of that yeah. shit. like he but doesn't want his cooler cooler skateboard is electrified the, the original OG redneck version is a lawnmower engine connected to yeah, a, a yeah. cooler. Yeah, that used gas. It was an elect it was an electric battery pack. That's the original his, OG cooler. His skateboard, right? his skateboard can go what 50 miles per hour? Yeah. 50, 50 miles per hour. I remember him saying that. He, he said at first it can only go 45. Then he was able to get it to go all the way up to like 50. Yeah, doing burnouts in that thing. Yeah, <laughs> but like I see that I feel, one. I feel bad for Max in that sense that he's always going to get hit with that. But I understand where he's coming from because, like, you know, like, yes, on my channel, I will still talk about tech, but I also want to talk about other things too. Like, my channel is a variety channel. I don't give a fuck if people are like, it doesn't work on YouTube. You know, I'm not trying to game the algorithm anymore. I don't give a shit about the algorithm anymore. I just want to make videos that I want to make. I want to do live streams the way I want to do them, and there's people that are interested in movies, vape mods, fuck, politics, whatever it is. There, there's people that's into that stuff. And I would rather much have an entertaining show with a lot of discussion and dialogue than to be doing the same repetitive shit because that's why I burned out the very fucking first time back in 2017. I burned that's, out I'm tired of that's that. That's what I wanted to talk to you about, Tito, man. I, I really want to, on the movie channel, I, I really want to have it to where me and you got like a, a day. Like, it, it's... I swear, the other day I was thinking about it. I said, I got all these different channels. I got all these different shit that I want to talk about. I have to pick days that I'm going to talk about. It. Like today is Thursday, right? Yeah. I have to figure out what day I'm going to use this day as to talk about whatever. I Because I already told myself movies and anime and comics is going to be on the weekends. Yeah. Throughout the week, I need to figure something out. Like I need to do like something like something. <laughs> like i need to edit or something like it is just too much man it's on the much. weekend for like comics and movies i'm i'm free on the weekends to do that so we can do we can do hours of that man because like that's i want to do other things i'm like no offense i mean tech is cool everyone's interested in it but I it's, also getting, it's getting old it's getting old bro you know there's like there's only so much things you can say bad about the t-mobile network when you pretty much emphasize how bad it is there's only, there's only so much things you can say about the pixel to let people know like what it can do there's almost there's it's like it's a never-ending you know cycle and people there's get so much you can say about iphone yeah you know like there's there's live streams where like i want lawrence on there to talk to share a bit about hawaii to other people because there's there's massive people that go to Hawaii and have this this mentality of what Hawaii is. Like, I still get fucking ass if we have electricity in Hawaii. And I like look at people like, where the Are fuck? you serious? I'm not fucking kidding. I know. I meet people downtown Phoenix, ASU campus, college students. Do you guys wear grass skirts? Fuck no. We wear the bro, same. I'll slap the shit out of their ass, bro. You guys got electricity? And sometimes I fuck with them. I'm like, nah. Like, we, we kind of get electricity, but my you know my brother Ruben he gets on the little bicycle and pedals the water. Oh. And <laughs> Hold on, I think this. Hold on, give me one second. I don't know who this. Like I, I hate when people freaking. That's, well, because you know they don't realize Hawaii's a state. Some people. How the so fuck isolated did they on the mainland? That? They don't even. Well, because when you're so isolated in a mainland and you don't think about a certain a certain topic, you know. Well, I get what you're saying, but like, like certain basic things people should know. Some of the culture things I don't expect them to know. Like one thing I wanted to ask you about is in the month of October, because Halloween's my favorite holiday. I wanted to do a live stream where we talk about a lot of, um, like you know, like the Night Marchers, the Manahunis, 
you know, um, haunted areas in the island, like e even on Molokai, even on the big island, you know, like we could talk about the, the, the battle of Pali and like how that happened, how that went down with Kamehameha. And, you know, we could talk about the freaking, um, like what happens at, at the Pali tunnel if you bring pork, <laughs> you uh, know. And then but, I don't know when I was living on Maui, my, my girlfriend at the time was telling, I forget where it was, this ro certain road, you put your car in neutral, and then uh -huh. you release. You then, then you release the e-brake and just let you know. You just sit, sit there, and the car is supposed to roll back by itself. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, because like, like I'll give a freebie to everybody right now. One of my favorite, um, one of my favorite stories, which I don't really c consider it a story because you know there's people that have that have witnessed it happen. But when you're driving, I think it's um, before before Nalos. Like you uh. end up seeing like the old lady that's walking on the road, right? Which is Pele. And um, if you ignore her and continue to drive past her down the road a little You'll bit, break, yeah, you're gonna break yeah. down. You're gonna break down, or you could wreck. But if you actually pick her up, she'll sit in the back seat of your vehicle, and as you're driving, you won't really see her face. She'll communicate with you, but then out of nowhere, she just disappears. But you actually, some people said they have gotten blessed. For just doing a nice deed like that. I'll be right back, fellas. I'll be right back. Yeah, no problem. That's why when, I, when I was living on okay. Maui and uh -huh. a puka shell necklace I had, I made. It just so happened my friend was getting her Hawaiian homeland house blessed, and I asked the guy who was doing it to bless my necklace oh, okay. because it came from because the construction company slash landscaping company that I worked for at that time. Yeah, they got all the shells from like ocean, the oceanfront properties. They would dig up for the drenching for like new lines and all this other stuff. Cause they did all kinds of crazy stuff, and the guy <laughs> literally had buckets and buckets of shells. So I, I told him one day, man, you know who's doing this, whose shells are those? He goes, why are you asking? He goes, oh, I want to make me a necklace. He goes, oh, go right ahead, and I ended up getting. But yeah, um, freaking, there are so much like wonderful stories, some spooky stories. I mean, trust me, if anybody wants to actually read some like ghost stories from Hawaii, I mean, there's there's books called Chicken Skin. There's also the Obake Files. You know, you can read some of those. Those are a mixture of both like like legends that's in Hawaii and also in Japan too. And those are spooky yeah. stories. Too though. Oh, nice. So you oh, yeah. It back that, over. You can tell. Yeah, that's that's genuine. So I, like, I, I drilled out all the holes and sanded them down so everything is flush. So when, yeah. they, when they fall down on your neck, they all fall into place. So this is 100% all Maui shells. Oh, that's and nice. I've had huh? this for, I made this in 2007, and I've had it ever since for 13 years. And every time, man, this has just been my good luck piece. Every time I wear this, something good would happen. So instead of using Suji, I yeah. use the 80-pound braided steel leader. So you know, I get the caps so it won't break. What's up, TJ? That's nice work, bro. That's that's nice. You did like sanding it down and everything and making it flush, yeah, where it's like it's smaller, like like towards the back where it where it connects behind your neck and then making it bigger as it goes down. But you know how some people they make them, it's kind of out of whack. Yeah, you can kind of see it like it's kind of warped a little bit. Yeah, it. it's all it's all hammer like how we would say over here, all hammer jang. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, that's nice work, man. So what I did. What I did was all those gaps because it would ridge out from wearing down. I all I did was use a hammer, a flathead screwdriver, and a drill with a lot. I, I probably went through like ten drill bits just to get it. So I'd crack all the excess off. Then I get three different grades of sandpaper and sand it down so it'd yeah. all be flush. It took me a month to make that. That's nice, bro. <laughs> But like I say, man, there's there's so much stories that I want to share. So I don't know if you're down to do it in the month of October, but I was thinking like 
you know, not every day, yeah, but maybe like on the weekend we release like a yeah, like another story can... that we share with people. Do do the research, talk about it. Yeah, grab as much like photos that I can get, or even like you know, like like um illustrations from like some of the books that they have, and like we can screen share it and share it with people because like the like I'll tell you right now. I've been to a lot of places. I've been to Guam. I've been to the Philippines. I've been to Japan, South Korea. I've been to a lot of places. The the stuff that happens in Hawaii, that that scares me. <laughs> it does. It's not in a it's not in a very like horrific way, like it's sadistic, like the night marchers. The night marchers are not sadistic where they are out for blood. But these are spirits that guarded on the island from way back in the day. And today, the way the island's modernized has changed. So to them, they patrol the islands. They see things differently, and they're spirits. But if you if you get in their path, you have a very small chance of survival. And like, what was that? I was telling one of my friends that went to go visit Hawaii. I was like, I think it's in the month of October, yeah, where you can see the at night the night marchers marching down from Diamond Head. You can see the torch lights. Yeah. Well, think- even then, even on the winter side. Any any mountain range. Yeah. I I think either I or you froze up for a sec one uh, quick second. Yeah. My my signal was distorted for a sec. But yeah, um like I like I told my friend about it, I was like, but don't go looking for it. Like don't try to get in the pathway of it. Um but yeah, I figured we could share that, man, because you know. You know, you lived there. I lived there once upon a time before I moved to the mainland, but Hawaii has so much to it than the cliche bullshit that everyone sees on TV. It's not all about pineapples with people wearing flowered shirts and stuff like that. There's a lot more to Hawaii than just the Hollywood vision of it, you know? And I like share that with people so they know because that's, you know, you you can vouch for this. Part of the reasons why uh, when tourists come and, you know, they scrap with the locals is because of the, the the tourists have a cliche way of looking at Hawaiians and Hawaiians have a lot of respect. Like yeah, they can, it's, 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 it depends on the tourists. It's a lack of education. Yeah. They always cross boundaries because they look at Hawaii as this Hollywood vision of it. They don't understand that. You know what? That people there won't stand for that kind of crap. Mm-hmm. Like you don't just throw your rubbish on the ground and leave it everywhere in front of anybody. Right. Like this, someone will come and like, you know, they'll jerk your chain and tell you, Hey, you know, clean up your shit and don't leave it right there. But, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, these are things that I want people to learn. So when they go there, you know, they have a good experience cause they're not going to rub, rub the, the locals the wrong way. Yeah. Cause like the locals there, they'll help you. Frick. The only thing you don't do is like, if you're, if you're going to learn to surf, do not fucking get in their way. That's one thing I told my friend because he went there. He wanted to learn to surf. He's like, I'm going to go surf. I'm like, yeah, but if you go to like certain places and the locals are out there, do not fucking get in their way. Yeah, don't cut nobody off. Nope. Don't do that. Because, yeah, they, I mean, it's it's just the principle behind it, you know. And then there, there are spots in Hawaii that, you know, tourists just don't go to surf. Like, those are locals only. Yeah, because... Depending on how how skilled they are, they don't, they don't know the breaks and all that other stuff. They just think it's like yeah. California surfing. Yeah, no, it's not like that at all. Shit, man. But yeah, I, you know, I like to talk story about that. Those are several things that I want to do on my channel because, like, I'm evolving my channel from just tech only. Is the reason that I that I drop like on the channel it doesn't say Aloha Android anymore. It just has my first and last name. Well, my my middle name and my last name. And that's just because I'm I'm going varieties. Like, I just like you know I was telling you that one day I was gonna retire. Like this this is it. This is my retirement. Like it's not. All, I mean I'll talk about tech because I know people like to hear about that and like get my insight on it. But it's not only gonna be that anymore. Who yeah, you gotta branch. Out. You gotta branch out, man. You gotta do your own thing. Yeah, and I don't really care what YouTube's algorithm wants to do. If YouTube's algorithm wants to bury me, that's fine. You know, the people that know where my channel is and they'll get the notifications on live, they'll come in and watch. Yeah, because you go you go according to your YouTube studio and you know what works for you. Yeah. But I'm gonna kind of trash that because I don't want to just talk about tech anymore. Like tech is great. That's my that's my that's my interest. But that's not my only interest. 
and there's more to to life than just tech. And sometimes we gotta we gotta kind of pull back away too. Yeah, like I want to influence people to like not make tech like 100% consume their life and actually get away from technology and go out into the world. There's not the only thing that. is the only thing Ricky's mistake was saying that he doesn't wanna like you know how everybody talks about the same topic on tech. Yeah, he doesn't want to like talk about the same thing. But what he doesn't realize is he can bring a different perspective. With his level of education, he can bring a different perspective to that topic that maybe the other person didn't bring up. Yeah. You know what I mean? That is true. Because he goes into real deep details. You know what I mean? And the way I look at it, it's like I'll watch three different people about the same topic. And then you'll get three slightly different perspectives of it. And if you see it's consistent, then you can say, yeah, hey, that, that's, a, that's a true problem. Or that's a, that's a true good thing. Yeah. If you're seeing the consistency. But you're also getting it from a different perspective, too. Yeah. You still, there's only like you don't want to get burned out just talking only about tech too. That's kind of the reason I want to kind of like like not stray away from it, but just bring more into the channel, right? Like even one day, like you know, um, I want to show people how to make like you know certain like like certain recognized dishes, right? So they're not they're not traditional Hawaiian dishes. I mean, you know, unless I can get a hold of some poi and stuff like that and set my way, but like you know, basic stuff we find like at barbecue restaurants there, like you know, like you know, teriyaki beef and things like that. Like how to make yeah, it? Yeah, but the common the common stuff. Yeah, you know, hamburger steak, loco moco, those type things, you know? They show people how to bake them. Because, like, Max, he did something similar. That's where I got the idea from. He showed people how to make bibimbap, and, you know, which just means, like, mixed rice in Korean. But um, he did that. He never realized that he was going to get a bunch of views on that video alone. And it's like, yeah, you know, people have an interest, like. Yeah, but that's a that's a very popular Korean dish. Oh, I know. I love that. <laughs> Yeah, my girlfriend that's always gets that. What do you normally but, get? Oh man, if I had to pick, it would always be Thai food first, the lob salad. Yeah. That man. Oh, I even make that at home. My girlfriend but do you eat, it, you eat it cooked or do you eat it the way that, that we eat it in Thailand, which is the meat is raw? Well, I, it's it's cooked. With the raw onions. See, and actually in Thailand, um, la the meat is actually raw. So they cure the meat with um, with salt and lemon juice to kill the bacteria for 24 hours, and then they add the seasoning like the onions, the the, the Thai chili peppers, and, and that into it, and you eat it with sticky rice. But like most people don't eat beef raw because there's you know obviously you can get sick if it's not cured right. So they uh, like Thai restaurants cook it. But it's normally eaten raw. Yeah, but that's a traditional style. I, I don't have the time and energy to do <laughs> that in my my apartment, you know? Try. One day when you get free time, just try it. It's good. With sticky rice, so good. Oh, no, but when you eat Thai food, I, I prefer jasmine rice versus just the, the sticky rice. Yeah, that's good. What's that? Is this called where in Hawaii has with white rice and oh, loco moco, the beef patty with the um, the uh, sunny side up eggs on top with uh, poured gravy yeah. on top. That's loco moco. That's a that that's like shit, man. I remember I used no. to get off school. That's the thing to grab for like an after school See. snack. But the my local moco would be no rice, all mac salad. <laughs> Sorry, anything I eat is always even if my if it's chicken katsu from L and L, I'll yeah. tell them no rice, all mac salad. If it's a curry, curry katsu gravy, I yeah. tell them I want no rice, all mac salad, and gravy on everything, even the mac salad. <laughs> That's the way to eat it, though. Like, people will look at it and trip out and be like, is it good? Like, you got – because it's comfort food. That's that's Hawaii comfort food. That's 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 the food. That's the meal for any time of the day. And even if, like, like me, if I'm in the mainland, when I eat it that way, that 
gives me the visions of being back home in Hawaii, like going to school at Aliamano Intermediate, getting out of school, going to the Manapua truck, getting, you know, fried side man, getting a, you know, a bowl You're of local buffering a little bit if you can hear me. I can hear you. Did I cut I out again? Her, yeah. I, I don't know if it's on my side or your side, but dude, my I, my specialty, the, my best dish I can make is chicken katsu. My girlfriend tells me that. my chicken katsu is better than LNL's. Well, when I go visit my sister, and then maybe you can make that when I go to hang out with you. Yeah, make it and then you take it to her house. Yeah, you can come to her house. We can eat that, and then afterwards we can we can build one fire in the yard and just hang out and just snack on some dried ahi. So when are you when are you supposedly coming then? Because any anytime soon, I know that. Nah, it's probably gonna be for like another maybe two years before I go back. Cause I'm I'm moving in uh probably at the end of 2021 and getting situated there, and then I'll probably fly that summer back to you're Hawaii. Moving back to you're or moving back to Hawaii permanently. No, 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 no. I'm moving to to Oklahoma. I'm moving further into oh. the mainland to get away from the big city, so my kids can grow up in a better environment. And um, my dad, he's gonna be like going back and forth to the Philippines. So I'll be checking on his house when he's gone. And um, but yeah, when I when I get situated there, then uh, cause the kids, my kids have never been to Hawaii, so I'm gonna bring them this time. So the whole family's gonna go down. Well, we'll the first thing the first thing you gotta get them is real Hawaiian chief ice. None of that snow cone garbage. Yep. <laughs> yep. I know what you mean. I'm gonna take them to go the if it's like the mainland snow cone, it's just chopped up, you know, rock, rocky, rocky, scaly ice, not buttery smooth. Yeah. Where's that one shave ice shop? <coughs> North uh, Shore side. No, it's Townside. There's one in Townside. Oh, That's pretty. I don't crazy. know. I'll go North Shore side. Fuck it, I'll go that way because I'm gonna be up on that side anyways. Because I get friends in like you know North Shore and Holly Eva area. Uh huh. Yeah, I know I'm going to freaking Giovanni's to get shrimp, bro. That's what I know. <laughs> Let me go all the way to Kuku for that. Make your own, <laughs> cheaper. There's a lot of places that I like go eat that I that I went to eat when I was a kid. So, and definitely I'll stream on YouTube and take everybody on YouTube on my adventures when I go there. Oh, definitely. You'll get tons of hits with you, with your subscriber base. You could do that there. You're on the island right now. <laughs> yeah, but I only have 78 subs. You know what I mean? So what? Fuck the subs. They'll come, dude. Make the videos. That's the thing. You know what I mean? If you... If you... Uh, you could do it, man. I know you can. You just got to come up with, with your rhythm on how you're going to do them. But when you do them, I swear to God, it's going to fucking launch. Even if you fucking live stream and you was like, say um, you was at Nalo's during you know during sunrise and freaking did a live stream there, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot to see, and you got a lot of knowledge to give. Frick, yeah, since, but since I don't drive, my girlfriend has to do all the driving. Finesse, finesse that. <laughs> I'm saying, bro, like you, you got a lot of, there's a lot of massive potential there because there's really nobody there that's doing that. You know what I mean? And that can be your niche. That can be what people know you for because you got a lot of knowledge to drop. I'll give that. You, you know, you've laid out, we've had conversations and you've laid out a lot of things that's changed my perspective on certain things. Mm -hmm. On top of that, you know, like, I mean, you heard Sneed, you heard everyone else, they're craving it too. They're telling you what they're craving. They want to see things over there. You have that ability to do it. Even if you was to just freaking, you know, do it from your house or whatever, the environment is completely different. That's what it is. Yeah, this is the only downside. I live in a I live in an apartment. So it's a little different than just going outside in your yard, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this dude left. All right, bro. Luis left. Oh, yeah, you got it. Now you got 79. My Daily Side's going to subscribe to you. I put your link in the chat earlier. So, 
yeah, if you guys go up the back up the chat like at least a good hour back, I put his link in there. Because when we were unboxing all the stuff that that you um that you sent us and did it live, uh -huh. I shared your link so people can go subscribe to your channel that showed them what you sent. Um, but yeah, man, yeah. I mean, you know, when then you get Ray a did a recap on his too, then yeah, he joined up and we started showing like what he got, what I got, and. It was, it was the thing, man. It, it, it was cool, but you have a massive amount of potential because I don't know if, if you follow um, this guy on uh, Periscope. His his uh, Periscope tag is G Lo, and um, he's always going to the beach and he's always like, you know, he, he takes his phone because his phone is like slightly water resistant case on it, so that way the salt water doesn't get into his phone. But then like he goes out into the water and he like just like, you know, just streams from being in, in in the water just not not really swimming around but just kind of like you know just going with the the motion of the waves and whatnot and it's therapeutic to some people like a lot of people follow him on there I'm, I'm not saying you have to do the same thing but i'm just saying like there's parts of hawaii that people don't see because all they see is what like the cliche thing is waikiki diamond head background right they uh -huh. don't see kanioi every um, anywhere they don't see parts of kailua they don't see parts of freaking Kahuku or Haula or any of those places, they don't. And the north side of the island, to me, has, has the more beautiful beaches than on town side. So that's something I would, I would say that. Shit, you can even, like, one day go to the beach and, like, just record a bunch of B-roll footage. You don't have to use them all up in one video, but you have footage to, like, yeah, add into Wrong. different yeah. clips yeah and you can always add them in for effects later right because like that's what i would have done with my intro if i had like video clips from like the beaches in hawaii like if i if i had my sister or not my sister but my niece go out there with her drone and capture some footage i would be using that instead of like you know um like the free clip footage that i find on the internet to like show beaches and whatnot like i was trying to talk to my niece to see if she'll take her her drone out and capture some video footage of like She's on the west side, so like going out to Yolks and catching like the scenery out there, Nanakuli Beach Park, you know, those various places, and like giving me that footage to make like different unique intros every time I make a video. So like I'm trying to talk to her about that to see if she's willing to do it. And I told her I'd pay her to do that, you know, because she's a photographer. So she can also get some good footage too. All right, YFS, thanks for chilling with us for a while, man. We've been streaming for almost two hours, so appreciate that. Yeah, now he has 79 subs. Thanks for subbing to him, guys. Really, really. Yep, yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, where's the link? I can go. So you know what? I'm going to grab his link right now. I'll drop it right now. Just give me a second. And then you guys can click it and subscribe. We got to get Lawrence's channel up there. There we go. And... Well, thank you for anybody and everybody who's sub or thinking of subbing. You know, share it out there. I'd appreciate it. There it is. Because, like, he right now, guys, you go to this channel. He's got speed tests from various companies like AT&T, T-Mobile, Visible. He's doing speed tests. You know, we give him the inspiration to, and he'll do more videos, and he'll bring more different content on there. And that's that's what I'm pushing for. Yeah, that Kin Master, Kin Master app. I just paid the twenty two ninety nine a year, uh -huh. and lucky I did because it's like to to get the ten eighty p by sixty upload, you gotta yeah. have the premium. Before it was free, and I, I was just like the the audio and stuff was uh, yeah. you needed the premium. Now you need the premium just to do eight uh, ten eighty by sixty uploads. A rendering, yeah. And since you got since you got that now, you got that paid for. Like even if you decide to like not to do a speed test and not talk about tech, but say you you know um, you and your lady go to like your favorite restaurant, you like kind of like show the food, you know, you show the spot to where they can go eat. Boom, you got it right I can there. Just do everything. Yeah, I can just record stuff and edit it out and shorten it. Yeah, because I'll definitely watch it because I'm gonna watch it so I can look at the food. <laughs> I'm fucking diabetic, but I'm talking about food, man. That's like that's gonna be the death of me. What do you mean? We're both diabetic, dude. <laughs> I don't know what that. 
I've been under so much stress this past few months because about maybe six months ago, my A1C was down to like, God, it was like 8.69. Uh-huh. And I haven't, I didn't change anything, dude. I, I, all, other than Easter rolled around. And Easter time, I messed up a little bit because you know when the Easter candy comes out, right? Yeah. You get caught up in the cotton candy, the the Peeps marshmallow marshmallow candy, and all that other stuff. Dude, my A one C went back up to thirteen. Dang man! So now, now they just gave me another another medic medication, and hopefully when I I go in for my follow up, it's back down to at least nine. <laughs> I hope so, man. I'm gonna drop James Lincoln here too. If people want to subscribe to him, he does live streams as well. So you gotta definitely check out his channel, check out his live streams. But like, yeah, bro. I mean, I don't know, man. I think I'm becoming resistant to like the medication I'm taking. I'm gonna end up having to go like with the actual insulin shots because the metformin, the pioglitazin, that's not really working, bro. My my sugar fasting in the morning is still like 130, and then it shoots up to like freaking 270, 300. After I eat, and well, I think it's up to like at least between ninety and one twenty-five. Well, all I take is Ivocana, and they gave me a sample of Jardian. Me and shots don't work out well. Put it this way: when I got my tattoo, I stayed up all night. So by the time I go to the ta got my tattoo, I fell mm -hmm. asleep. I was like so tired because I I just the girl had to wake me up when she was done. That I just fell asleep getting tattooed. Oh okay. Are you no, I'm reading this comment from Luis person? here. So this person knows Tech Extremist. Yeah, Tech Extremist is is uh, here in Arizona. I've never met him in person because I live in Phoenix. I've never met Tech Extremist in, in person, but I know he's around here because a lot of his speed testing videos, he's like in areas that I, I've been to, like Ahwatukee. Um, he's been out, you know, the north side of um, near Glendale and uh, Peoria. So, yeah, uh, I I know who Tech Extremist is. He's, you know, he's he's been on uh, Sneed and uh, Carlos's uh, live streams, but I've never met him in person. Yeah, but if your girlfriend or your your wife slash girlfriend whatever says anything about the vape here you don't need to buy new stuff it's because you so you, you can't say that because you don't vape <laughs> right she don't no, vape I, right i only joke about her because like that's normally what she says because we always play fight but like you know if i absolutely need it she's never she's never gonna stop me. like that's one thing i love about my wife she will never stop me from getting what i need or even sometimes what i want as long as is this it's within reason, but she always loves to give me a hard time because that's just how it is in our relationship. We bust, you know, she busts my balls, and I, you know, I bust her ass. That's pretty much what it is. <laughs> so, oh, dude, you've been you've been vaping for years, dude. So that's why when I came up, when I, I started getting all that free stuff, and I said, um, "Okay, I know two people that vape that I that I I, I kind of got to, to know for a while now." And I trust that they're going to actually use it. And whatever they can't use, they're going to donate or whatever. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't care what you do with it because you're going to use your better judgment. You got to slow down on that before you run out. <laughs> it's addicting, bro. It really is. <laughs> you got to hide it from your kids. Dude, I can polish off that, you know, that, that bag, that eight ounce bag. Mm -hmm. By myself, dude, and then, then I buy I buy two bags. One for me and my girlfriend. Next thing I'm trying to, I'm like eating hers. <laughs> you can get carried away and eat two of those big bags and once and like, if you're mm -hmm. watching a movie or TV, nonstop, you could eat those two bags in one sitting and not realize you went to two of those bags in like thirty minutes. It's <laughs> addicting, dude. Like. Yeah, these are going to stay in my office. I lock my office door so no one's going to get these. No, but if you can find lemon peel down there, all you really need to do is get a food processor yeah. and just grind it up until it's really fine with that and lemon juice and just mix it in with your gummies. That's it. Yeah. 
But for this right here, shoot, man. <laughs> it's, it's only mine. And then the cocky mochi, too. Yeah, the cocky mochi, I like mixing with popcorn when I watch a movie. That was easier because considering how much vape gear is in there, there was no way I'd be able to fit the bag of popcorn in there. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. When I looked at the box, I was like, okay, when you open it, there's so much stuff in there. I was like, I wasn't expecting that much vape stuff. I was expecting like one or two tanks and maybe like one mod. And there's like... No, there's man. I, that's why... That's why that's why it took so long. Cause when I met, met Sneed's one, I knew they had a they had the, you know those those the mailman will come with a tub that tub that corrugated wax plastic cardboard tub, yeah, and they start sorting mail from that. They had two of those filled on the side, so I know that okay, I'm gonna send Sneed's package. I'm gonna be going to East Siggity for the next two months and be able to pick up every time I go and order something, I'll go and pick up something, pick up something. So I was trying to stockpile it. So think about it. I filled your medium box and I filled Ronaldo's medium box. Yeah. You know what I mean? I basically had that Ross's bag filled up to the brim and I said, okay, I'm going to, since I have to hold off, I'm just going to, I'm going to get enough where I can fill two medium boxes and just ship that out. Yeah. Man, I tell you, man, there's a lot of good stuff. But yeah, and you know, if I need another box mod, I know my babe will get me one. But a lot of this stuff, I'm going to actually sample it. I got to, today when she gets off work, I got to go pick up my uh, prescriptions because, like, right when I started the unboxing, the pharmacy uh, sent me a text message telling me that all my prescriptions are ready to be picked up. And I'm like, shit, okay. But I got to go grab e juice also because I'm going to, like, start busting out some of those tanks and, testing them out i really like this one this one hits really damn good and um i need to get like one of those protective bands on it just because it's it's more of like a wider bulb yeah the bubble it's a huge bubble yeah i think this one holds probably maybe like 10 milliliters of e-juice instead of seven it's pretty wide who know i think it probably holds like maybe the the seven because i have a smaller tank than that that holds four and a half At least, <laughs> <with that tank, laughs> at least with that tank, you could just do a rebuildable. Yeah. Just do a right, you know, space clap things. I gotta say this. If you got 41 subs and you have not uploaded any videos, you're boss. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, what are you doing today, anyways? What's your plans for today? I have no idea. My girl, it's still only ten o'clock in the morning. She's still sleeping. I know, I know tomorrow. I guarantee getting my 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 permit updated. So I, that's the only shitty thing about it, man. They should make because I gotta renew. Uh, since that's my only ID, I have to renew it every year at yeah. five dollars. It would be so much better if they give you it. Yeah, you do the one year if you know you're gonna get your license. But me, I'm never. I probably never get my license due to my anxiety of driving. They should just yeah. give the people that only use it for an ID, that you know, that's not ready to drive yet. Give them the option of the five year, and if just say, you know, two years later they decide, okay, I want to drive, just go in there, and when they pass their test, just update their school permit to a driver's license. So I don't have to keep on going to the stupid DMV every year. Yeah, that's a pain in the ass. Over here, um, for ID, you have to do it, I think, like every every two years. Um, state ID? Yeah, state ID. No, no actually, no, because I haven't, I haven't updated Over here, it's like every, I think it's every six or seven years. No, I think here in Phoenix, the state ID and the driver's license, you don't. You don't renew them or update them until you're 65. It's only if you've gotten like a DUI or Say something again? suspended until you're 65 years old. You don't update. Or unless you change your address, you do it yourself. But like they don't require yeah, my Wi Fi is acting up because you're like sounding like, like a pinball machine. Really? <laughs> is it clear now? Yeah. 
So what I was saying is that you don't update your ID or your driver's license until you're 65 years old. What? It's yeah. that long of a gap? Yeah. Not with the photo, man. <laughs> I mean, you can choose to, if you want to get an updated photo or if you've moved and changed address, then you would go and do it on your own. But technically you don't have to, like they don't require it. Unless you've gotten your license suspended, then you have to update your ID every year. I think a driver's license is eight years. Every eight years, you gotta get up, get it renewed. So it's forty bucks. Whoa, it's like twenty five here to do dollars. Yeah, if you want, I think if you want the eight years, it's forty dollars. That's crazy. I know most states do it and like now, that. Here it's weird. It's different. And a few years back, they stopped giving the 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 a, they stopped giving you the card in store. They give you a temporary, and they mail you your the mail you the finished card now. Ah, oh, okay. So when you go to the DMV, they give you a sticker, this two panel sticker, basically. You know what I mean? And they mail you your hard copy. <laughs> Get well soon. Okay, I appreciate that. Like, I wasn't feeling that good this morning, right? Like, I don't know, for some reason, I just feel, like, out of it today. So. Oh, he's got to jump out? Oh, dinner time over there. All right, Gene, take it easy, bro. Right. Actually, I'm going to call it anyways, because it's, like, almost a two-hour mark. I do got to do some other things here, too, with the kids, so. Ray uh, dropped off, too. Yeah, well, no, I, I took him out because like he was probably still on this phone call or whatever. But um, yeah, I just want to say thanks for everything, bro. Like you know, this 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 was really good. I really appreciate you setting this out, man. It's a great birthday gift, so I love it. No, because it's like I took a couple. I took maybe like one or two items for me and my girlfriend, and then the rest I kept on getting more. And then every time I go and get more, and I say, like, I can't use all this stuff. I don't want any of this stuff. I don't know. And then I said, fuck it, I'm just going to mail it to somebody <laughs> who can use it. I even tell the guy straight out there, I have I have like five friends that they're in the area is getting difficult to get vape gear. But it was written in reality, it was only two people. Oh, hold on. <laughs> the wife is calling. Hey. Let me end this live stream real quick. Stay on, but just let me end it real quick because I'm about to no, jump no, off. No, 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 no. I just want you to take something out for dinner. That's all. Okay. I'm still ending the live stream anyways, so just give me one sec. Well, I'm at work. So there's nobody there? No, there is people here. Oh, I got to show you this. Hold on, Lawrence. I got to show you this. Look look at all that. That's what came from Lawrence. Look at all these mods here. Tanks and oh, everything. Wow. New tank. Yeah. So, do you think I can get another mod? Oh, you won't say it out loud because everyone can hear you. I, I told everyone, I was like, now that I got all this, if I was like, babe, let me get a mod, you'd be like, fuck no, Laura sent you all that stuff. You mocked me, though. They can't see it because I didn't turn it around. Well, let me end this. All right, Lawrence, I'm going to hop off. Everybody in the chat, thanks for coming in and all watching. Right, man. Subscribe to Lawrence. I'm glad you... I'm glad you enjoyed it, man. You deserve it. You and Ray. All right, everybody. Okay, man. Okay. All right, Kat, take it easy. Yep. I got to go.